An alias is an alternative way of writing a command. Instead of writing a long command, the alias gives you the possibility of writing a short command. It's like a nickname or abbreviation. Let's do a fast example without using aliases. We want to see what's inside C and we'll use um, the commandlet get child item and here we see the directories inside C and we want to move to the directory users by using the commandlet set location users and if we want to see inside users we use the same commandlet as we did before get child item okay now let's uh, move back to C again this was without uh, using aliases let's uh, use uh, the commandlet uh, get alias get alias and as you can see here we have um, tons of uh, aliases already installed uh, in our PowerShell but let's uh, look specifically at the, the ones we used get alias definition set location and you can see here that uh, you have one called cd for change directory that's an alias for set location and let's uh, do one for uh, get child item and you can see here that we have uh, dir directory did and that's the one we use uh, in windows we also have one called gci which also is an alias that's the one PowerShell uses G for get, C for child and I for item and we have a last one here called LS for get child item which is used in Linux now let's try that out let's try this out with the aliases we have we want to look inside C column DIR we want to change directory cd users we want to look inside users dir very very simple what we want to do now is create our own alias and later on place it in our profile i don't know of uh, too many reasons why you would want to create new aliases at this point but it's a typical school assignment so I want to create a new alias for get child item. My reason could be that I want it in uh, Norwegian and a translation for show something like the LS does is vis, V-I-S in Norwegian, which still is a lot simpler than get child item. We have already used the commandlet get alias now we are going to use the commandlet new alias which says exactly what it's going to do it's going to create a new alias that alias is vis and it's going to substitute or become an alias of uh, the commandlet get child item and that's all we need let's uh, try it out vis does exactly the same thing as ls now you can use this not only to substitute long command that's you can also make aliases for scripts and functions etc we just haven't gotten that far yet let's uh, take a look and see if uh, powershell has registered our new alias get alias definition get child item and here you see that uh, PowerShell has registered our new alias we are going to make one more just for the fun of it 
let's uh, type in notepad and uh, notepad uh, opens let's see if notepad has uh, an alias of um, NP it does not new alias NP notepad let's try NP now NP and uh, notepad opens so that's the way to do it if you are just using your new alias for a short time while using PowerShell that's okay but if you are continuously going to use it you're gonna have a problem because when you close out of your PowerShell session the aliases that you create are lost exit out of uh, PowerShell and open it again as an administrator let's try uh, BIS and it's not going to work. Let's try NP. Not going to work. So now we have to save our new alias in the PowerShell profile. Let's uh, open up our PowerShell profile. Notepad. Dollar sign. Profile. And we already have something here but let's add it to the next line new alias vis and that's for uh, get child item file save let's exit out of it and let's um, exit out of um, our PowerShell window let's uh, open it again and let's uh, do a uh, BIS to see the contents of uh, C column and as you can see it works we already learned how to create a PowerShell profile in another tutorial next time we are going to export and import a file with aliases for those of you that would want to go deeper into this, here's a question. You can create a new alias with the commandlets new alias and set alias. So what's the difference? See you next time.